Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip about sleeping bags. And I don't care whether you use a sleeping bag for camping or whether it's something that you have for bugging out or what have you. You just went out and got yourself a really nice, expensive sleeping bag. Not these $30 jobs that they sell at Walmart. I've seen these go from anywhere from $100 up to $1,000, depending on how the temperature rating is and how lightweight they are, whether they're made with uh, polyester or some sort of synthetic material or down insulation. You get this home, this is the way it comes from the, the store, is a little package like this, and you may think, that's the best way to store it. No, it's not. This is not the best way to store your good, expensive sleeping bag. It's great to pack it this way so you can carry it to your campsite in the backcountry, but do not store your bags like this. You may get away with it for a few years, but after a while, you're gonna start losing the insulating value of it. Let me show you why. Let me open this up. This, by the way, is a Marmot Trestles. I think it says so right here on the end. Marmot Trestles is good for 30 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is the bag that I use for backpacking. You'll notice how small it is but when you take it out of the bag, all of a sudden, just look at it. It's raising up just a little bit. This is called loft. The ability of a, of a uh, sleeping bag to retain its uh, fluffiness. This is loft. The ability of it to, to keep this, this nice padding effect to it. If you leave your backpack scrunched up in this stuff sack, it will remain that way. You train it to do that. So the best thing to do, ideally, if you could, is to lay the, the bag out like this, although that takes up a table, and most people don't want to do that. So there's a couple of options. Number one is most bags, good bags at least, will have a couple of loops on the foot box, and that way you can hang it up. And this is the way I store it. I simply hang this up on a hanger in my back bedroom closet and just put it on the closet rod and it hangs there and it fluffs itself up just fine and of course when you take it out you want to fluff it up a little bit but you can just hang it with these two you know if you have a place in your basement or your garage or up in your attic someplace just hang it up by these loops another way is and i don't know about this very much personally because I've heard of something new, is they are coming out with storage bags. These are bags that you can simply kind of do this with them and store it like this, which is perfectly acceptable, but you do not want to put this back in the stuff sack all crunched up like this because after a few years, it's going to lose the insulating value. And instead of having a nice, soft, fluffy uh, sleeping bag with lots of loft and a good insulation to it, you're going to crush that insulation. The reason you want this loft to come back up is because the material in here, which this one is synthetic, but it, it applies to down as well. The, the material that's in these is not what is insulating you. It's the air that is trapped between all those fibers. That is the insulation. The same principle applies to the insulation in your house. Yeah, you may go down to the home center and buy a bag of insulation and blow in your, into your attic or put bats into your wall. But it's not the product that you're putting in the wall, it's the air that's in it. So when you open up that roll of fiberglass insulation, what's the first thing it does is it just expands. It's letting that air back in and that air is what gives you your insulation value. Same thing applies to your sleeping bag or your clothing as that matter of fact. It's not the product, it's the air that that product traps inside all of those fibers. So by keeping this out like this and not pressing it, you're not, not putting it in the, the compression bag, you're keeping this loft, you get this fluffiness, that's what you're wanting to keep in the, your expensive bag. Now that it's fall, you can tell, you know, I got leaves falling, it's time to properly store your bag, because if you're like me, I don't like to go out when it's 10 degrees out and camp. I know there's some people that do, that's fine, Great, good for you, I, I applaud you, but it's just not my cup of tea. So do not store a good bag like this in the stuff sack any longer than you have to. 
when you get ready to go on a trip, put it in the stuff back, go on your backpack trip. When you come home, take it out and either hang it up with these loops or put it in that storage bag loose like this, like uh, apparently there's bags that come with these now that are specifically for that purpose. You could probably buy one, or if you're handy with a sewing machine and have the right material, you could probably make something. But do not store it in your stuff sack. Period. End of discussion. Don't even try. This is Backpack Hack. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share my videos. Be safe out there, and I'll see you nice and warm out on the trail.